In today's project, we're going to be replacing the fork seals on the Rebel 1100. So let's get started. Place the bike on a stand, and then we need to remove the caliper, we need to remove the fender, we need to remove the brake line, and the ABS, as well as uh, removing the front wheel. Remove the caliper and make sure you hang it. Be careful as you're removing it because it might scratch your rim. Remove the front wheel. The next thing we need to do is remove the fender. Remove this bolt to free up the brake line. Put the bolt back in so you don't lose it and move it out of the way so it doesn't scratch up your fender. To remove the fender, you have two bolts on this side and two bolts on the other side. These are five millimeter hex. Okay, this is pretty cool actually. There's a groove over here that this is gonna sit in so that when you mount it back up again, it's going to be in exactly the same place. There are two nuts behind it to hold the bolt. So you gotta remove them, two on this side, two on the other side. All right, we took the fender off, but guys, please don't tell anyone about what happened, all right? Keep it between us. This is the speed sensor, so be very careful when you're removing it, okay? So this is the actual sensor itself. There's one five millimeter bolt over here. And also this is the actual guide for the cable. This is also eight millimeters. This is a five millimeter hex. Take pictures before you disassemble everything. That way when you're putting it back together, you know how to rot the cable. So that's the speed sensor and this is the actual protective uh, cover. Put the bolts back in their place so that you don't lose them and forget where they go. And then use a zip tie to secure the actual housing to the unit so that you don't lose it. Before removing the fork, we need to undo this pinch bolt up here and that will allow us to break the seal up here while it's in the fork because I don't have a vise. Now we can undo the fork cap. This is a 24 millimeter socket. That's all that's needed. In my case, I don't have a headstand, so I'm using an A-frame ladder and I'm using this point to lift up from, one on this side, one on the other side, and I'm just using straps in this fashion. Now it's time to take the bike off the stand and let the hoist do its thing. Okay, there we go, we have success. These are the last two bolts that we have to undo on the lower triple and that will release the fork leg. Make sure you secure the leg before undoing the last one because it could slip. As you can see, the fork leg is free to come out. Let's continue to pull the leg through. There it is. The first thing we're going to do is loosen the bolt at the bottom of the fork. Let me show you a close-up. Do you see it on the inside? That's a six millimeter bolt. With the fork cap still on, now it's time to do the bottom bolt. So secure the leg like this and apply quick force to release it. Just like that. Do not undo it all because you don't want the oil to start to leak out. So make sure you have a lot of rags. Make sure you clean and wipe your stanchion really well. And now it's time to remove the dust seal. I like using a plastic uh, pry tool so that I don't scratch up my paint.
After three years of ownership, this is the wear that you'll see on it. My bike has uh, over 26,000 miles on it. It's time to take the fork cap off. Make sure before you remove it off the bike to take out all the preload because you don't want the spring on the inside to be under a lot of pressure, okay? So there's a lot of pressure pushing up. Be very careful when you're removing this. Apply downward pressure as you are unscrewing. That way when it comes out, you're holding it down. There it is. Okay, it just released. And you see how I have my hand over it over here? I caught it, you see that? So downward pressure and use your hand over here to hold it in place. There it is, okay? So there's the fork cap. And now what we need to do is drain the oil. This is where it starts to get a little bit messy. So remove the spacer, make sure you have something to put it in. You have a washer and finally, the spring. Let's drain the oil. What you hear is me pumping the fork. Now we can remove the bolt on the bottom. The washer was kind of jammed in there, so I had to use a little pick to pull it out. Just be careful not to damage the threads. In order to remove the oil seal, we have to remove this snap ring right here. So I like using plastic. I don't want to scratch up anything. Now we can remove the oil seal. That's the oil seal. Remember the orientation, so when you set it down, set it down with top side up. Now that everything is clean, it's time to reassemble uh, the fork with the new seal. Put fork oil over here on the bushing. I invested in the seal driver tool, but you can do it in other ways by using a plastic pipe, but I want to do it the right way.
And now we can drive the, and now we can drive the oil seal. Right there. Do you hear how that noise changed? And finally the snap ring. And finally the dust seal. And now we have brand new seals. Time to install it. Push it all the way down until it bottoms out. And now we can install the bottom bolt with the new washer. I'm using a new bolt as well. Apply a little bit of thread lock to the bottom bolt. Torque it to 15 foot-pounds. There we go. Before installing the spring, we need to add uh, the oil and we have to put 484 milliliters. So carefully pour that in there. You see the level? And now we have to pump. See the air bubbles coming out? The manual states that the air gap needs to be 160 millimeters. So I'm using this tool to verify. Now that we set the proper fork oil, we need to install the washer. The spring. And the end cap. Before we screw in the end cap, we need to put a little bit of oil over here on the O-ring just to help it slide and now we can screw in the end cap and we need to tighten this to 16 foot pounds of course we're not going to be able to do it here we'll do it on the bike after we secure it right there is the maximum I'm gonna reinstall this, do the second fork, and then we'll go out to test out the new suspension. 